Caves represent the last dark continent that we have still to explore on our Earth. One of the most frequent questions uh, to cavers is uh, how you will find the way out to the cave. Because in the imagination of people, the cave is like a, a labyrinth, and, it, and it's so. But you can use uh, some references. You don't have, of course, the sun inside, you don't, you don't have uh, the landscapes like outside where you can. Uh, uh, find some uh, reference points, but also in the cave uh, you can uh, memorize uh, some passages. You can use uh, a compass, for example, and find your way out. The view of the cave while going uh, on, uh, it can be completely different uh, on, the, on the view that you will see coming back. So we have to deal with uh, all the obstacles that we can uh, uh, find there, like for example uh, a river or uh, uh, an obstruction, uh, uh, a squeeze uh, uh, or a shaft for example. This requires a lot of uh, training. You can imagine uh, during caves, uh, the astronauts have very few uh, time to, to train to this new uh, environment and also to the techniques, the tools. So it's really uh, fast uh, learning with uh, very restricted safety rules. Uh, and then uh, we are ready to, to go uh, in the cave and to start the exploration. Exploration is actually a knowledge process, so when you explore a cave, uh, what you, you want is to know the cave. So entering inside the system and see with your eyes is not enough, you have to document in some way this environment. The most important things is the, the survey, so the maps of this. These are new lands actually, it's like a geographic exploration, so you need to, to draw a map of your cave. Uh, some years ago, the cavers were using uh, uh, simply a compass or, or a metric tape, while now here in caves we are trying to use uh, some new technologies, for example laser uh, distometers or uh, this, the, the tools that is the cave sniper, which is a, a distometer, but also an electronic compass and clinometer recording all the data like it was a computer. So uh, it's very, very uh, easy to draw a map uh, and also a three dimensional map with software so afterwards. When the, the, the Three, two, one. Now here there is even too much light. I, I gave four flashes here. You know? One other really important point is that when you will be outside of a cave, you have to describe to other people how is the environment, when what you, you have found. So uh, the only way is uh, making photos. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay, same settings as before, 15 seconds. Can you go... And uh, in cave it's not an easy process because all is dark, so you have to illuminate and what you will see in the photo is exactly what you will be able to illuminate. So, um, 
cave photography is a peculiar uh, photography technique. I mean, you, you use uh, the lights uh, as a, a painter uh, and uh, you can uh, set up like in a theater, a scenography and try to describe the, the cave with uh, different lies. Uh. Making photos in a cave is a teamwork anyway, because it's not a, only a matter to set up a camera, but uh, it's mainly to have uh, light points, which are normally uh, your teammates, in uh, the right position and trying to illuminate the right uh, part of uh, the the cave landscape. Actually, the first step on the moon is not really different uh, than a first step inside a cave.